No, Tuck, every year during the summer we have JT Wall on the coach's mm -hmm. corner. We ask him how his team's going to do. Yeah, they'll be all right, I guess. Yeah. And every year they're out here in the state championship game. Every year. Yeah, they haven't lost a game since 2018 when they lost the state championship game. It's crazy to say it, but it's true. And here they were again, back in the state championship tonight at Mercer. Let's go over to Mercer now. Before the game, special ceremony unveiling the new GIAA, or the Georgia Independent Athletic Association. There's the look. It'll start in the 2022-23 school year. It's objective to support and promote GISA's athletic teams and programs. John Millage going for its third straight state title. The Trojans off to a quick start. Briggs Edie connects with Bud Veal, who takes it inside the 30-yard line. A few plays later, Edie on the keeper. A nice little burst for him. Cuts out to the outside and gets inside the 20-yard line. Trojans working quickly early on. Balin Zelinski says, get off of me. He is in the end zone, and John Millage Academy has a 7-0 lead after the kick. Later in the first, still 7-0. They go to the air. Briggs Edie finds Banks Edie for the first down near midfield, and then Briggs Edie finds Jalen Butts, another chain moving pass. Right there, two drives, two scores to start for the Trojans. ED2 Zelensky for his second score of the night. It looks like John Millage is gonna run away with this one. This is when Cecilia left, actually. She said it's over, but it was not over quite yet because that Pinewood defense came to play after those first two touchdowns. Sack there, and the next play, another one. Edie down again. John Millage held out of the end zone. Now the Patriots offense unable to do anything. So John Millage has it, goes back to the air. Zelensky reels it in, but then it is just taken away. No fumble, just taken out of his hands. That's the quarterback for Pinewood's offense. So they have it again, but they uh, are not gonna do anything either. John Millage's defense with the big play to stop him there. And then the Trojans have it back. And there is Edie on the move again, making men miss. Still scooting. By the way, it's still 14-0 here. Clock winding down in the second quarter. And then with one second left on the clock before halftime, the Trojans trot out that field goal unit. 32-yard try is no good. It was still 14-0 at halftime. Third quarter now still 14-0. Mick Wasson under pressure, and he overthrows his man. Marcus Crestwood with the interception for John Millage. Lots of defense tonight. Defense wins championships, they say. That ended up being the case tonight. Spoiler alert. But here's the big offensive play for John Millage. Another nice run there for Veal running through tacklers. Watch this play, Bill. It was a little controversial. Whoa. Yeah, they called that a fumble. Wow. Pinewood picked it up. It looked at, you know, full speed like he scored. Coach JT Wall, not happy at all. You see him down there. Come on, ref. One more look. I think the right call, he was down at the one. Brown can't cause fumble, right? Yeah. But it did it. there, yeah. but it didn't matter. Pinewood unable to score. John Millage did score again and wins 21 to nothing. The at least 20 point streak continues as well in every game since that 2018 state championship game loss. Three straight titles in a row for Coach J.T. Wall and John Millage. Unbelievable. J.T.'s done a great job yes, with that has. program, and they continue to do well. Tucker, thank you. You're we welcome. appreciate it. We will have a look at the school board from around the entire state right after this.